Akihabara is Japan pop culture heaven and has some of the most fantastic arcades I've ever seen, at least on YouTube. In an attempt to bring a bit of that Japanese arcade culture home to the Electric Starship, I asked around to see if I could get a hold of some candy cap goodness. These things are hard to get here in Texas, at least for me. But my friend Beto sent me some pictures of a rare little cabinet called a Capcom Mini Cube. I thought it looked super cool and I'd never seen one, so I bought it a little over a year ago now. The Mini Cube was released in Japan in 1991. It's tiny. Uh, this little cabinet is made of steel and it comes in three fun colors. This greenish turquoise blue color, uh, pink, and yellow. Since they were only released in Japan, they're quite rare here in the States and can be expensive. So, you may be asking yourself, what is this thing? It's a little bitty guy. I mean, look, it's tiny. This is a Capcom Mini Cube. This was like a little kid cabinet almost, if you will. Uh, much smaller than, you know, most things. It's a little, I don't know how tall this thing is. Let's say it's four feet tall, maybe. A uh, little guy, it's been painted over before. I'm stripping it down right now. I got all these parts. I'm stripping it down right now so we can powder coat it and make it look really nice. Anyway. So I want you to kind of see what it looked like beforehand. Uh, you know, we got other parts and stuff to it that I've already started taking off. I was told I need to get all the plastic pieces off because they'll just melt. Uh, this monitor, I was told, is pretty rare. It's like an 18 inch monitor. So pretty neat. Uh, has a good picture on it. It is wired up JAMA. So I'm excited to see kind of how this all turns out. But uh, I got a long way to go as far as tearing everything off of this thing. So. Anyway, uh, to be continued. Well, here it is, completely stripped and broke down. Nothing on the inside. Every bolt and washer and everything. These are all the guts here. And then all these pieces. I'm gonna go off and get cleaned up, powder coated. And hopefully we uh, took enough video and pictures to be able to put all this thing back together again. Uh, I'm excited to see how it's going to turn out. I haven't done this before, but it's an all metal cabinet. Usually I'm dealing with American stuff, which is all wood. You got to do a lot of the work yourself. So uh, it's going to be a nightmare to put all this back together, but we'll see how it goes. Okay. Well, we got our mini cute pieces back. They have been powder coated and man, they look beautiful. So I think this is gonna turn out really nice if we can just figure out how to put all this back together. Oh, look at them shine. I mean, it just, uh, this is gorgeous. Nice. Yeah, they did every piece of this thing, all inside and out. And uh, I think this is gonna be such a cool addition. And this video, I don't know when it's gonna come out before or after we get our little section I want to do finished but uh that's just gorgeous and they match the color so freaking good so I am freaking excited pretty awesome thanks Roman for going picking up and introducing me to the powder coater and uh wow you can't get better than that guys and this is a pretty rare little unit so I can't wait for y'all to get to play that here at the electric starship we'll see how it turns out Man, so Roman and Greg rooting us on here. <laughs> we put together this awesome little mini cute tonight. Now it doesn't have the stickers. It doesn't have the speakers or the controls. We still got a long way to go. But dang, that powder coat turned so nice. I mean, it looks great. Monitor looks really good. I mean, this thing is glowing, shining. I'm proud of it. Check that out. We just threw Tetris in there, just a test board, you know. So, really cool. What do y'all think, guys? Amazing. It's yeah. Right on the floor. Check, looks awesome. Let's check, see what's uh, going on inside. <laughs> what's that burning? Well, it's all it wired back up, the buttons back in. We got our little coin door here. We got our wiring harnesses in there for the remotes. And we got to put some locks on it. Just got the board sitting there. 
power supply. That's just really cool. It's wire jamma. So uh, y'all have never seen a mini cute. This is what it looks like on the inside and out. I mean, and we got the back all done and everything. So I'm proud of it. What do you think, guys? Amazing job. It's coming together. Yes. See what we get away with on the next part. We're putting the decals on. Autumn's gonna have a field day with that. <laughs> on, Autumn. What are we doing today? We're putting the stickers on the mini cute. That's correct. So this rare, rare mini cute has these big, cool Capcom stickers that go down the side. There's also some decals we have to put around the speaker where the speakers go. Uh, also on the control panel, and then there's a little one down by the coin slot, and then there's some really small stickers that we're going to have to use some online referencing for to make sure we kind of put them in the right place. If they're not in the right place, I mean, it's not like the end of time, right? Like, no one's ever seen this dang thing, so Gunner's really interested, Autumn. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, see what the transformation looks like because it's just kind of bare bones right now with a really good powder coat, and uh, we're excited about this. It's going to be a fun game. I think it's going on good. What do you think, Donna? I think it's looking real good. Yeah. We're just gonna do the other side and all the other important hard details to put on. This, if you hadn't seen our videos before, this is just kind of a little squeegee. And sometimes we use the wet method. You know, if we have like big hard decals to put on, we use this rapid tack. This is not that difficult. You know, once you measure the sides out, make sure it's right measures on both sides and kind of tape it off at first and we got capcom mini cute with capcom on the side isn't that awesome dang i did a lot all right let's do the other side you're on look at this thing capcom mini cute oh, that's pretty cool we got the control panel overlay we got the coin return slot thing. I think I know what I'm talking about. And we got Capcom on both sides. And you can hear Dave in the background playing with his drums. It's pretty fun. Awesome. This thing's coming together, Autumn. We're pretty close. I can't wait to put the yeah. buttons on. Me too. That's going to be super, super cool. I love it. Awesome. Okay, so we're still on our mini cute project. It's looking great. I'm gonna try to put the joysticks on today if I can. And also we're gonna try, there's a few more decals that need to go on. And this uh, Overcom Arcades used to be on eBay, but I don't see them on eBay anymore. But uh, anyway, um, maybe still out there. I'm sure y'all know if y'all are into this sort of thing, but I don't know where all these stickers go. So I'm gonna have to do a little research. And uh, I'm glad I got him when I did, because he's, like I said, he, I can't find him anymore. But he sends a lot of extra stickers, too, just like fun stuff, like fridge magnets and things like that. So some of this does not go on the mini cute, and some of it's just for fun, like little extras. So I got to kind of dig in here and see what goes where. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we'll do that next. Okay, I have determined that these are the stickers. Now, these go inside. It actually shows you which ones are which. That's cool. And I took some pictures. There's also some pictures online to tell me where this one, this one, and this one goes. These three, I still gotta do a little research to figure out where they go. So let's stick some stickers. Okay, so we have some sticker placement on the inside. That's your service, your test, and your volume. Those are a little bigger than the ones uh, that were originally on this, but they look fine. They're on the inside, I'm not like sweating it or anything. The other decal that went on this guy is on the sides here. So let's turn them sideways. Gunner. Uh, so we got obviously that one down the side. There's these two here at the bottom. And I've seen this in this format on the blue ones. And I've seen a pink one online. Some pictures of a pink one in the, they're kind of over under each other. I also have the little house here on the back. And then a little high voltage sticker there. So I just think it makes it look a little more uh, original with those original decals on. I haven't figured out where to put this one and where to put this one. 
So if you can uh, <laughs> leave in the comments below where those stickers go, <laughs> we will uh, put them on the new mini cube. So onto the joysticks and button. Okay, so we are just cutting the, the sticker out for the buttonholes here. Pretty neat, pretty neat. Try not to scrape the clear coat if I can, or, or whatever, the powder coat. Anyway, that's the next thing here. This is really hard to do in film at the same time. I need a cameraman to follow me around 24 hours a day. Truman show my stuff, you know? There you go. That's what that looks like. And those, I don't know what I'm going to do about this right here. It's going to be a little bit more of a bear, but it's looking good. Okay, now for some exciting stuff. We we'll, we'll finally, finally get to go to joysticks and buttons on this thing. So I've got everything trimmed out there. Uh, and here is, I ordered all these kind of specific for this. Uh, we ordered them from arcadeshock.com and just a little bit of everything. Now I ordered a little bit of extra stuff just cause I didn't know exactly what went on what, but according to the internet, it's these, boy, I will butcher the name, Samut, Samutsu, 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 um, joysticks that go on this guy. So uh, I bought that, I bought some little restrictor plates, I bought multiple different ball tops, I bought some like, the colors that are supposed to go on this are red and blue, I bought some candy, kind of clear ones, so we're going to try those out. It may be blasphemy, but uh, freshly packed, delivered, extra crispy. FGC premium parts from Arcade Shock. So awesome stuff there. Um, again, ordered a little bit of extra things just because I didn't know how it was gonna look once it's on there. I kind of want to see how these little candy ball tops look. Uh, they may look cheap to y'all or they may look great. They may look cheap to me. So we're gonna put them on there and see what happens. So I'm looking forward to this because I've not really ever put together uh, a candy cab from I wouldn't say this is scratch, but I haven't put together one that didn't already have some pre-assembly to it. Um, we're working on a Blast City right now, and I bought like a whole new control panel, but it already had sand wall stuff all the way across it. So uh, this is a new adventure, but you know, nothing that we can't figure out. So exciting to see and get this far. So what we're looking at is these little buttons here, and they're a little different than your standard American style button. The, the switch is built into the button. There's no snapping in micro switches. There's no screw bottom. They just kind of plug right in. So uh, according to my internet pictures, the blue is on the right. And once they're in there, they're just in there. So we're talking like pretty amazingly easy assembly. Um, should have like emptied all these buttons out before so I'm not like one handing everything here. Uh, again, Cameraman. I need a full-time cameraman that wants to work for free passes to the electric Starship Arcade. Look at that. Just snap right in. And you can order these buttons. Like when I was ordering them, they had them with like solid. They had them with the black uh, outline on the outside. Here's a little start button, but I don't know which one goes on top and which one's on the bottom. So we're just going to empty it out here and not push it all the way in. Actually, I bet I can figure it out. Since the blue is one player, so the blue probably goes on top. So I'm gonna push it all the way in. I'll just stick it in like that. And hopefully, yeah, this is the right size. I was hoping I picked all the right size because, you know, I don't want to be uh, just a mess. And have, uh, I, I did a lot of research before I ordered these buttons because these things, you get all the original parts or the what's supposed to go in there they can be kind of expensive so man they snap in so satisfactory i love that all right i'm gonna finish putting all these in and use both my hands here and it's looking like we're gonna have a really cool finished product okay this came together really nicely nicely i love these parts uh i went with these ball these are kind of bubble ball tops i don't know they just scream candy to me you know um it's not the traditional ones but we can put the traditional ones on later. That's not that big a deal. They're right here in the bag. So I don't know if we want to put those on. We can or if these get 
broken or stolen or something like that. You can do that. But geez, these my dog really wants to be in the video here. Um, these parts went on so freaking nice. Uh, I need to figure out if these need to be square gate for like fighting games or this kind of more, I don't want to call it octagonal, but it's a circular type gate. Uh, so we'll just leave it where it was for now. And uh, yeah, just really excited about how this turned out. Can't wait to put it all together. It's gonna look so cool. All right, we're in the internals here. So we still gotta put the speakers in and we gotta hook up the um, control panel, uh, the, all the wiring. And luckily, and I don't, this is just kind of a miracle because when I bought this thing, I didn't know a lot about it. And to be honest, I still don't know a whole lot about it, but I'm learning, I'm learning guys. That's what, that's what this is all about. I'm not, I'm brave, I'm braving it. But I, you know, when you, when I got inside this, now we've had this powder coat and I've emptied it out, but what's really cool is all these plugs here that clearly go to the, um, to the underside of that, they are here. So what's great is some awesome person labeled it. So we got the player one kick harness, the uh, player one buttons, player one joystick here, and then player two kick harness, player two buttons, player two joystick. And they're all kind of ready to go on except for the grounds. All the grounds have been cut. So I've got some daisy chain ground wire uh, to put on those, to hook all that up. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, what's really on the other end of this, where the kick harness would plug into say like a CPS2 board, I believe that's all these wires here. So there's no, um, there's no, I don't wanna say it's a Molex, but you know, there's no connector, no plastic connector at the end of this. So we'll have to get that. Or I could run just a Capcom kick harness directly and like skip these, run directly through here. But I say all that because the really oh, that's great. the really good news is that we're gonna run Super Gym Fighter Mini Mix in this, which it just has a punch, a kick, and a special. So right now the kick harness is incidental. We're gonna complete this just because I want to be able to plug different games in, like full Street Fighter games that have a six-button layout on each side. But uh, for now, we can actually get this thing going. So. That's, that's really, really cool, even without the kick harness completed, um, which is, you know, again, we got a couple ways we can do it. Find a connector, do it right through this is which, what I want to do. Uh, we could just run a kick harness if we just got in a jam, because I think I actually have a couple of those in stock. Um, or, you know, like I said, we can uh, run games that don't require a six foot layout until we do so. So we're going to complete this video, uh, and then I'll probably just get a connector and you know, do it all the right way since all the wiring is like pre-wound in the loom there. So uh, that's really exciting. All right, let's see what we can do. We are in the bowels of the electric starship here in the board area with all these fun boards. Totally new adventure, dudes. All right, so we're going on a totally new adventure here. Here's our CPS2 boards somewhere, the Super Gem Fighter. So I buy stuff all the time. And when I do, what we got here? It's X-Men vs. Street Fighter. This actually was on the floor. When I do, yeah, it just kind of goes on the shelves back here. And then when I get to the project, I uh, pull it off the shelves and go working for it. So, uh, let's see. So, but I don't know where this is. Ah, oh, here we go. Super Gym Fighter Mini Mix. This is what's gonna go in there. Now this is the B board. Uh, which won't work without the A board. So we're gonna get the A board off of this. I know that's a working A board because this was a game we had on the floor. So there's lots of other adventures, <laughs> totally new adventures to be had here. So I'm gonna get those and combine them, A and B. So I have a place to hook up my JAMA and see that's where your um, kick harness would go in to work those bottom three buttons. Like on Mortal Kombat, that'd be the big kick buttons. So, or is it? I don't even remember. It's the kick buttons on Street Fighter is actually a better, <laughs> I think a better way to do it. So anyway, look at all these future totally new adventures back here. Oh my God, or adventures we've already had. Um, anyway, Starship stuff. Okay, I pried these boards apart. There's our, um, the X-Men versus Street Fighter. Here is the Super Gym Fighter Mini Mix. Here's that A board. It's kind of what it looks like. 
so you can see. And which is pretty cool. I actually have the foot, it just came off while I was taking these apart. And these little clamps here, you'll see these missing a lot. They just actually kind of snap in to help tighten that board to these. If you don't tighten that all the way down, a lot of times you'll see like some gel bars and not the, my monitors got old caps gel bars, but the kind of like, just like pixel gel bars. Um, and that's because this isn't pushed down all the way. I've, you know, I've learned that over time. You know, sometimes it's worse, but I don't know that this even works. <laughs> I hope it does. I hope it works. So we're going to put this on and uh, um, it's going to look awkward there for a second because I'm going to sandwich in it here with one hand. So sorry for the awkward camera. I know I'm probably making someone sick while they're watching this, but hey, you know one hand jam here so see these guys go like right here maybe yeah. oh. take two still in take one actually but take two so you can push those in like that tightens right on there so isn't that cool all right let's get it here where this little tetris board is hanging okay it's put together it's mounted i haven't turned it on yet so this could be a total fail or pretty cool or I don't know. We can't play it yet, but uh let's see if that looks like oh yeah, that closes. Perfect. Alright, let's close this for now. Look at that. Let's go back here to the switch and let's see what it looks like. Right, I'm gonna turn the light off. I hope it works. Have any sounds? So. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that looks like crap. <laughs> I think that board needs to be pressed together a little more. That's what I was talking about. You know, little graphical glitches. Jail. We're in jail. It's a cute jail, but we're in jail nonetheless. All right, I'll uh, work on that. Well, I found some bent pins right here. I bent them back. They were kind of folded over and one was touching one another and one was like bent all the way under. So I don't know when that happened or if I just did it. I'm certainly not prone to, um, I, I, I take that back. I'm certainly prone to making mistakes. So we're going to put it all back together now that those pins are bent back. I hope they're in good shape and uh, we'll see if we can line this thing up and get a better look. I did press on it and I created actual gel bars uh on the screen uh when i did i was like well okay so it didn't have its natural hey this thing's not pushed in good enough gel bars um graphical gel bars i should say but uh anyway let's see if it works this time um uh, i think it's just because i had the pins bent i'm hoping so okay so believe it or not this is way better <laughs> so uh these are the graphical gel bars that i think when i press in on this when I put those clips in that should make those lines go away but at least you get to see it it's already looking better so let's uh get a little further down the road here and put these uh these pins back in and hopefully that will uh, clear up that because it's already looking better that may have got it so even when I turned it on this time I saw a few little lines but they are gone now and uh yeah that's beautiful I mean, this, this game is really cool. I wish I could get where the resolution wasn't blowing it out, but you get the idea. It's a good looking monitor. Uh, it's just got some frame rate issues with the camera. That's why you're seeing those lines. And you, sometimes you can get far enough back or just the right look. Look at that. That's gonna be neat. All right, so if we finally got this lined up the way it's supposed to line up, let me install it all in the game and um, get a little further down this video. <laughs> okay, I, pan I painted the uh, speaker grills and put them in. And we have these little like, kind of grommet spacers that go in. One of the things I really like about this is everything just lines up so nice. So it's really a, a joy to work on 
something that everything lines up with. The only thing that's giving me any kind of problem is if the, I got some speakers over there I'm gonna throw on there, but the only thing that's giving me any problem is the um, where the powder coat has made these thicker, so it's a little harder for some of the uh, nuts to go over the, the bolt heads and whatnot, the bolts. So anyway, let's put some speakers in so we can get some sound on this game. All right, so uh, I got some speakers installed. These are just little four ohm in, uh, impedance, 30 watt, 120 watt peak, four inch speakers and they fit perfect. You know, they have, there's a little bubble to this, which is super cool. And plus with that spacer, there's a little bit more like cone out in front of it. I think that's what you call it. Anyway, pretty cool. It's in there. Let's see if it works. Game is coming on. Let's check some volume. Oh, that sounds beautiful. Sounds good. Let's move our screwdriver here. Look at that. That's cool. Look at that. Sounds great. This thing is getting close to being finished, guys. That's super cool. All right, now we got a wire up the control panel. I'm gonna play this. Super Gym Fighter Mini Mix. Is this a pretty rare game, guys? Like, I never, is it just a terrible game and no one wants to play it? I've watched stuff on it, it looks so fun. Uh, I just don't see anybody run this game. And I just thought it was such a cool game for this. Yeah. I think it's awesome. <laughs> Amazing. So I've started wiring. The um, I found a daisy chain of ground in the back. Got her sleeping. Uh, and so the way this looks, and I, I could be wrong. I'm always wrong. So. <laughs> The way this looks is the joystick doesn't have a ground included in the plug like coming from the harness, but the buttons do have a ground and you can see it's been trimmed off right there when they disconnected all this. So what, and this is just the, not the kick, not the kick harness. The kick harness had its own separate ground too. So I'm gonna wire that ground separately and leave these buttons out of it. Um, and just wire up for this top portion here. Uh, these guys, make it a little clearer for you. And I'm gonna wire this ground right in. So I'm gonna clip it here and just connect them there uh, with solder and a little bit of um, shrink wrap. So it'll be nice and tight. And that first ground will cover these three top buttons and the joystick. So that's all wired. That's the way I'm gonna do it. And then with the second harness, I'm gonna daisy chain and connect that onto it the kick harness which is i believe this one right here see it's got its own ground so i'm just gonna and i know it's all the same but i'm just trying to make it easy uh or, or the way they actually had it which i don't know you know again rare on the rare side of games here so i'm kind of just going with some traditional wiring uh, the way I think it should go. So if I'm wrong, I'm sure someone will tell me in the comments that uh, hopefully it all works. We can play this game here in a little bit. Well, after all the wiring, this is what it should look like. So we have our, um, this extra one that I didn't know what it was, obviously start and it has its own ground. So that's nice. And this looks like a big bunch of spaghetti. We'll have to tighten some of this up with some zip ties, but I don't wanna do it yet because I'm not sure if I got it all right. 
So on our two player buttons here, it does have room for the, the fourth button if uh, you're just running it straight JAMA. JAMA has a four button layout in the connector. Uh, but since we're gonna do a kick harness, we're gonna leave that one undone. I did add, or just left an extra ground, just cause it's always nice to leave an extra one on one end of each side. Uh, the reason I do that is cause you just never know when you're gonna mess up. So there's an extra one over here. There's an extra one there. So anyway, not a big deal there. And this part, when you, so there, there's my little uh, connecting in the grounds to the uh, button harnesses. There's one here as well. All we did was, you know, use our trusty soldering iron uh, and a little bit of heat shrink to clean it up a little bit so it looks a little better. So other than a kick harness, this should plug in and work. Now, when you're reading upside down and backwards and, the, you know, you're pushing right, but the bottom of the stick goes left and up and it goes down, uh, and then you're reading the JAMA harness, and you don't know if you got that backwards or not. So the chances of you wiring it all right on the first try is really tough. I mean, I almost never do that. Sometimes I'm two mistakes away. Sometimes I'm five or six mistakes away. It's usually an even number because you just got something swapped around. Occasionally you have the button in the wrong place. So, re you know, picking out different oranges and greens and blues down there. Um, yeah, it can be a little confusing. Uh, anyway, when you're reading a JAMA pin out, it, it's just like that sometimes. So we're going to plug it all in and see if we can play this mini mix. I have never played it. I've never played this game. Uh, so it could be a bust. I don't know. And again, it doesn't use, it just uses punch, kick, and special. It doesn't use the bottom buttons. Uh, I could put little plugs in here, but I mean, I might not keep mini mix in this. That's a great thing about a candy cab is you can, you know, put different games in it. But I think that's just a great, a great game to start with. So let's, uh, plug all this in and see if it works. It is hooked up, speakered up, um, all the plugs are plugged in, the two you see there I believe are just the kick harnesses from in here for that second row of buttons, uh, will it fire up, and it's probably not on free play, so let's find out, or will it, I know it'll fire up, we've tested that, I just want to see if you can actually play the game, and uh, that sounds really cool. Uh, I'm digging that. Free? Let's see. No. Well, that doesn't work. That doesn't mean anything. Let's see if the coin slot works, which is, you know, that's something to see. Alright, alright. We, we got a credit. It looks like it's set to two. Let's go ahead and give us four. So... The coin slot is wired up. Hey, let's see if the actual coin counter works. Uh, hold on. Did it move? It does. The coin counter even works. So that's cool. That's cool. Not that I care that much, but you know, it's nice when it works. Let's see. And <laughs> that doesn't work. Okay. So I think maybe the ground isn't hooked up for the one player and two player buttons. So let me try to hook up the ground, but at least we know the coins work, so that's cool. Okay, I finally have a cameraman, or a camera woman in this case, Summer, uh, my daughter. She got here because they're about to open the arcade. I'm on my day off working on this thing. So um, I got the one player and two player button to select, but the ground is not making it all the way through to the second player. Uh, so I look at the zoom, kind of, you don't have to zoom in, just come closer. Um, I'm gonna sand this here, cause it's just not making it through. And I think it's just an old nasty plug uh, inside this Molex here. So I'm gonna try to clean that up a little bit with a little sandpaper. And if it doesn't work, it may just have paint on it or something. But if it doesn't work now, that's yeah, gonna make it way better. If I don't get a good connection and good ground now, then I'll just replace this plug. Okay, so it took a little bit of cleaning the contacts in between there, but man, we're talking about a really cool looking game at this point. Just gonna give some credits. Working good. Uh, a two player game. So you got a Akuma hidden over there and you got Dan hidden over 
there. So it's like a, like a Kuma and then a second player. This one was just like I predicted. I had wired the salt bath. This actually was all correct, but for some reason the second player I just wired really poorly. So you get Morgan in there. Yeah, it just happens, you know. I'm this far away, and actually you can see the screen. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Uh, you got your punch, kick, and special. On this side, you got your punch, kick, and special. Just fast enough with one hand to throw a fireball with each of Throw his little air fireballs. That might be a little tougher for me to do with one hand. But anyway, you get it. It's working. Uh, up, down, left, right. Up, left, right, left, right. Up, down, left, right, left, right. Up, down. So, all working. I'm excited. Live just a little left. Just a little left. Need a little bit of an adjustment. Put this thing on free should be cooking. So, the Capcom Mini Cube is finished. This is a rare game and we're super excited. Um, I say it's finished, I still wanna put some locks on it, but for all intents and purposes, the look of it is done. So let's check it out and see what we did. Final view here. Um, I just think it came out really, really great. Uh, we got the topper on there. And we wanted to put uh, Super Gym Fighters in, as you've seen in this video. And we had the little flyer for it, laminated, that Jose uh, gave it to us when we purchased the uh, game board from it. Here is a beautiful picture of running this game. Sorry about the frame rate there, but... I find there's a good spot for the frame rate. Well, you know, when they screen changes, you get little frame rate differences there, but super cool. We did the candy top balls here, which I thought there was a the little lollipop look there. And the powder coat turned out so good. New decal there. Really, really nice. One final view of the side art. And the uh, little Capcom stickers. We we'll even put stickers on the back to try to make it as authentic as possible. Uh, you know, to the original. And uh, you know, I just think this is great work. It turned out so good. Now, if I had painted it, it wouldn't have been as good. I promise. So that's why I thought powder coat and something, something that's rare. You just want to give it a little extra attention. And uh, I think that uh, it's just a fun choice of game, fun choice of attention. I want to thank everyone that helped out. Uh, Roman for introducing me to the powder coater. Uh, Beto and his buddy that brought the game up from me. I don't know if I have a picture. Uh, I'm gonna look for a picture. If I do, it'll already be in this video. Them actually, them bringing it up on the truck from uh, South Texas for me. And obviously Jose for helping me uh, with the game and Roman for helping me put all the wiring harnesses back together after I stripped them all out of there and totally forgot what to do. So, um, anyway, uh, there it is. Super Gym Fighter Mini Mix and a Capcom Mini Cute. You just, uh, just can't beat that. So I think that's just a great thing. So it's really, really cool. And the good thing is if we get tired of this game, we can always put another game in it. So there you go, guys. I hope y'all are happy. With this awesome video this completed super rare game here because i'm tripping all over my office i ain't got enough room in here pretty nifty all right guys well if you like that kind of content remember to like and subscribe at the bell notification so when i put out a new video you know to go to it and check it out so i appreciate y'all so much for watching and uh, we'll see you next time